Kiowa's Medivacs and Invasion Stripes are just some of the new releases to grace the simulation world last week. Hi there folks, my name is Novoing24 and welcome to the very late edition of the Nova app for Sunday the 9th of June 2024. Apologies for being somewhat tardy with this one, but real life got in the way. But it wouldn't be a Sunday without the new releases, new release summary for the simulation world. So let's jump straight into it this week with, well, let's be honest honest, it's not actually news. It kind of is, kind of isn't, but I'm going to quickly cover it because it's here. I'm actually doing a separate video on that, which will be going up very, very shortly. But the new trailer for the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 dropped today. And it is both exciting and new and much of what we saw in the first trailer. But as I said, I'm not going to be covering it here in this video. Look for a new video coming out. Uh, uh, very, very shortly, hopefully shortly after the release of this one, uh, where I will be going through it in a bit of detail and going about what we know and probably more importantly, what we don't know about it. So look for that video coming out very, very shortly. But that was, of course, released as part of the Xbox Game Showcase uh, done this weekend and uh, is a kind of cool and is great to see. But the, probably the biggest news to come out of that announcement was the fact that we now have a release date. We have a set in, well, I would say set in stone release date, but you know what? We'll we'll take that with a grain of salt at the moment. And of course, the 19th of November, 2024. So we've only got a few months to go before we will have the latest iteration of Flight Simulator in our virtual hands. As I said, for more information, head over to flightsimulator.com. Now, on with, with the actual release news for this week. And of course, starting with Microsoft Flight Simulator and the release of their famous Flyer 9, a double pack of the release of the C-47D Skytrain and Waco CG4 Glider. So this was, of course, very, very uh, appropriate given last week was, of course, the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings in Normandy, uh, which kick-started the second front in Europe uh, to uh, liberate the, content, uh, the, the continent of Europe uh, from the tyranny of Nazi Germany. Uh, and it was probably very, 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 very important and very appropriate that it was released on the 6th of June. Now, this is uh, an aircraft that's been produced by Airplane Heaven, uh, who, of course, pr produced the DC-3, which was released as part of the 40th anniversary pack, uh, and basically is the military version of the DC-3, the C-47D, which is a later variant of it. Uh, so you get a couple of different models and different versions of the C-47 uh, included with this pack. Uh, most notably, you get the you get a sort of a standard C-47D, the military version of the DC-3, uh, but you also get a true troop carrier or a paratroop leader aircraft, which has a couple of uh, extra features on it, most notably of which is the fact that you can actually drop paratroopers from it. Uh, along with that, you also get the Waco glider, which was a glider used by uh, airborne forces landing in Normandy. Uh, it was one of two main gliders actually used during the D-Day landings, the other one being the Airspeed Hawser. Uh, and uh, both were used to deliver paratroopers uh, and glider glider-borne uh, troopers to the uh, Normandy region region of France during that time, and of course in other campaigns around the world. Now, you can pick this uh, pack up here for $15 US or your original equivalent available now from the NC Marketplace. But I do want to highlight as well uh, that for any sales made during the first month of, of its release, that all the 100% of proceeds of each sale will be do do donated to a not-for-profit organization supporting uh, US servicemen at the USO. So uh, it is something that is kind of cool, and I am always one, given especially given the work that I do, uh, I think it's always great to see... A, developer producing content and supporting charity. So I highly recommend that you go and grab it. Uh, I have picked it up. I haven't actually flown it yet, but I have absolutely picked it up and I'm looking forward to taking it to the skies soon. But as I said, available now from the InSim, InSim marketplace for 15 US dollars available now. Continuing on with Microsoft Flight Simulator releases, the team over at Cohen Simulations have continued releasing some fantastic helicopters with the release of their rendition of the EC-130 and H-130 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is a uh, helicopter that I am a particular fan of because it has a quirky design feature to it. it uses, instead of using a nominal tail rotor, it uses a tail fan, uh, just a different type of rotor, but I have always loved uh, the alternative uh, tails on helicopters, so, so I very much have been fan 
instead of NOTAR helicopters, uh, as well as fan-based helicopters, which is something that uh, Aerospace Detail, uh, later on Airbus helicopters, uh, are pretty much the only air helicopter manufacturer that does this in real life, I'm reasonably sure. Uh, but yeah, always great to see uh, the rendition of this aircraft being produced in the, uh, into, the, into the sim. Uh, and it's been an aircraft that's been uh, highly sought after by the community for a number of years. So it's great to see a uh, developer finally releasing it, but also uh, Cohen Simulations because they have done absolutely outstanding work, uh, especially for someone like me who is nominally deathly afraid of helicopters. Uh, I absolutely love their helicopters for not only their attention to detail but also their attention to realism as well and they have taken on board a lot of community feedback for that one and actually made sure that this has been tested uh, by real life helicopters as all their previous products were and they've actually uh, made sure that there's a lot more features in here that are suitable and have been requested for by the, by the community including a different uh, avionics options you get three different uh, panel variants uh, you get a full touch screen uh, uh, full touch screen glass avionics system you get a full analog setup as well as a combination setup as well and it's supports full integration with the PMS GTN 750 and the TDS GTN XI 750 supports as well. Along with uh, a number of numerous other features that are common and uh, often seen with common simulations releases includes animated floats, floats, removable doors, uh, exhaust, uh, exhaust blur effects, optional downwash, downwash effects as well. I'm not sure whether that's supported by uh, Parallel 42's sort of uh, f uh, dynamic sort of feature here or whether it's a custom feature there. Not 100% sure on that one. A uh, number of dynamic weight options for displaying passengers uh, and cargo as support for a uh, full integration of a medical uh, evacuation version is included with this one as well. Now, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 30 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Cohen Simulations. Continuing on with aircraft releases now for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the team over at Avionca Española, uh, which is a new developer as far as I'm aware. I have not seen or heard of them previously. Uh, they released a very unique aircraft, which is the Hispano Avianco HA200 Sayeta, uh, which was a Spanish ground, ground attack and training aircraft um, designed during the 1950s uh, that uh, didn't actually end up seeing service until sort of into the 60s before it actually sort of entered service. Um, and it has very fascinating history because it was actually designed by none other than Willie Messerschmitt, uh, the uh, of course the uh, you know of Messerschmitt ME 109 fame. Um, so of course, yeah, after the war, he sort of emigrated, offering his services to various aviation firms around the world, and ended up settling in Spain uh, and uh, be became a driving force behind the Spanish aviation industry. Uh, so the aircraft uh, was available as a two seat trainer, and then was also available as a single seat or uh, two seat. Ground light ground attack aircraft uh, would be produced in Spain and would actually also be produced uh, in uh, Egypt as well. It was uh, produced under license uh, in Egypt with its nascent aviation industry as well. Now, this particular um, version of the aircraft gives us the two-seat version of the aircraft. Uh, so you get do you get both the two-seat and the two sorry you get the two-seat and the single-seat version available in this aircraft, uh, including various different options for external stores uh, with both accurately modelled versions of the Turbomica Mabore six engine. Uh, and a number of other features for this one. So it looks kind of cool. There's not a great deal about the description on this one, but looking at the visuals, it looks pretty good overall, I have to say, and the sound set doesn't sound too bad. And for the price point, you probably can't really go too wrong either. It's coming in for $17 US or your original equivalent, available now on Sim Market. And a huge shout out and a huge thank you to uh, Flight Sim Historian for giving me the heads up on this aircraft release. And uh, moving on with other Microsoft Flight Simulator release news, moving into the world of airports. So the team over at MM Simulations has released their latest airport with the release of Vilnius Airport, uh, which is the main gateway and the main airport servicing the capital of Lithuania. So it comes to us with high detailed uh, airport uh, rendition, including uh, as, it, as it appears in 2023, uh, with all airport buildings modeled, a full custom internal interior of the main uh, terminal building, Custom night lighting use throughout, uh, matched to gra uh, the ground apron, matched to real life with custom parking positions matching all the real life uh, positions. Custom modeled and animated shuttle train, various animated objects throughout the airport, as well as uh, implementations use of parallax materials uh, where they haven't modeled the internal of the airport. And I can't honestly, I think that the more developers need to start using the parallax technology that the base sim does uh, to save a few polys here and there for those of us with uh, lower performing machines, that's for sure. Cool. 
Now, if you want to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you pick this one up for twenty US dollars or your original equivalent available now from any bills. Rounding out the Microsoft Flight Simulator news this week, I saw the release from the team over at SoFly with the release of a, another interesting novel product from them. And this is the release of Eco Soundscapes for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, so this is interesting and something that I hadn't really thought of, but in, in a way it absolutely makes sense. So one of the things, of course, you know, in real life, when you travel to, whether it be travel to, you know, whether you're walking through a city, whether you're in a, you know, you've landed in a, you know, field in the middle of France or whether you're, you know, sitting and kicking back over a cold one after landing your kid fox in the middle of the American deserts, um, the sound of the environment around you is very unique, whether that be caused by birds or insects or you know, you know weather sounds, whatever. Um, and that's something that, funnily enough, the flight simulator doesn't do that well. It it, it is yeah, you know, the wind sounds are pretty good, but they're pretty consistent around the place. But the actual sounds of nature are generally not there. Um, this is an add-on that attempts to address that. And it's something that I had really thought of, especially as somebody, for, for me, that is somebody who enjoys, you know, bush flying and flying to regional remote areas. Um, this is something that would genuinely enhance my sim experience. It is absolutely something that I never would have thought of. But now that it's been released, I'm, I'm kind of like, this makes so much sense. And that's so cool. Now, is it going to be for everybody? Absolutely not. Um, if you are a tube liner flyer and all you ever do is fly from one airport to another, this is not going to be for you. I can pretty much guarantee it. However, if for any of our rotary winged family, for any of our bush flying family, this is absolutely something that you should at least look at, I think. And uh, yeah, I think it kind of is kind of interesting. And as I said, something that I absolutely didn't think of. Now, having said that, I think that the price point for it is way too high. Um, so this is coming in at 25 US dollars. So um, look, don't get me wrong. As I said, I think this is a fantastic idea. I think this is great. I'm just questioning the price point. I, and again, I never question anybody. You know, All developers should be paid uh, for the hard work they put in. But I'm kind of questioning the the, the the scale of the price point that's it but they, having said that they are offering you know continually offering um, updates uh, from themselves as well as compatibility with other third-party add-ons so it is kind of cool kind of interesting I just wonder about the price point that's the only thing that I have anyway so if you want to add this one to your experience you can pick this one up for 25 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Direct. Moving on from Microsoft Flight Simulator now and rounding out the uh, simulation release news this week, the team over at Polychop Simulations released their long-talked-about and long-awaited OH-58D Kiowa Warrior for Digital Combat Simulator. And in a surprise move, and very unlike anything else in DCS, this did not release into early access. This is a day one version 1.0 full release and not going to lie. I am absolutely stunned um, and really, really surprised and also really, really happy. Um, so Polyshop have actually always said that. To, to be fair to Polyshop, they have always said that they, when they, they would not release the Kaya Warrior until it was released as a final product. And they have 100% delivered on that. Obviously, it was a little bit later than the community would have liked, but you know what? I'm kind of happy the fact that you know they've taken the time to actually make sure that it's right without having to go through an early access period. Uh, now, having said that, what is what do you get with the helicopter? You get a highly detailed rendition of the OH-58D Kiowa Warrior uh, with a fully clickable glass cockpit with full VR support. You get a voiced pilot AI assistant, so I'm... Um, I, I don't know what would Jester be called uh, from a helicopter point of view. I don't know. Road ahead? I don't know. Anyway, uh, you get a full, you get a full uh, modeled armament and weapon systems, including a number of machine guns, uh, hellfires, and air -to -air and Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, as well as a handheld M4 rifle for use with VR hand controllers. I have questions. I really do. Not sure I want the answers. Anyway, a uh, number of sensors, including uh, TV and FLIR, uh, TV, mass-mounted sight and TV and FLIR cameras, la laser range, 
rangefinder designation systems, radar detectors, infrared jammers, laser detectors, and common missile warning systems, and an accurately modeled and functional flare and chaff dispenser. Uh, huge number of fe- uh, features included with this one, as well as over 60, 60 liveries being released, at, uh, being included at release. So if you wanted to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 70 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from the DCS store. And with that, folks, that does now round out the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as a bit of a reminder, that Flight Sim Expo is coming up in just a couple of weeks' time. So if you're going to be there, don't forget that myself and not only just myself, but all of the three Grumpy Simmers will be in attendance. So I'm looking forward to meeting many of you at this exciting community-driven expo uh, uh, in North America here over in Las Vegas this year. So hopefully I will see you there. And if not, don't forget that you can, if you are unable to reach the, the event in person, don't forget that the many of the events will be broadcast live and available for a virtual attendance with a virtual ticket. Uh, head over to Flight Sim Expo's website for more details. Link in the description down below. And with that, folks, that is all I want to say. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos and wanted to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos. Just follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.